Good morning. Um, apologies for the bank robber look. Didn't think this through. It's freezing in the UK right now, uh, and I'm sitting in my lovely office, but it's not quite warm enough, so I put this hat on. And then only once I saw myself on this live did I think, oh, I look like a bank robber. <laughs> so sorry. You'll have to bear with me. I'm not taking it off. It's freezing. Right. I'm going to be talking today about the dreaded USP, which is something um, that a lot of my clients really struggle with. We go through my um, business strategy framework, my 10-step business strategy framework, and finding out and uncovering your true USP, your uniqueness, the thing that will make you stand out um, amongst all of your peers and your competitors is a really tough one, and people really trip up over it. And I've kind of got a, a seven-step process that I use for that to try and pull out your uniqueness and then use that in everything that you're doing um, and I thought I'd share it with you here uh, but before I start I am going to share this live if I can find it into my Simply Smart business group and if you're not in that yet do come and join us it's a lovely group where we share Lots of tips and advice on um, growing a business, on digital marketing, and on social media marketing. Uh, if you just put Simply Smart Business into the search in Facebook, um, it should come up. All right, let me just share this into that, and then I will get going, because I don't want to have you sitting here while I'm faffing around doing this. Right, Simply Smart Business, and done. Great, I can crack on now. Right, so as I said, this is really about um, pulling out the things that are unique to you. And more often than not, when I talk about this or I, and I work on this with my clients, they're like, oh, there's nothing unique about me. I'm the same as everybody else. And that's not true. There are so many unique things that you can pull out and use to just make you stand out from the crowd. Because my God, it's a, it's a crowded market, right? The internet is just full of people doing the same things. Um, and even if you are one of the only people doing it, it does tend to get busy. So finding your uniqueness and the reason that people should pick you and should connect with you is really important. Um, and it's about having, and, and I understand that a lot of it is about having um, the confidence to actually put your flag in the sand and go, yeah, this is me and this is this is why I am uh, somebody that you should choose and this is why I am unique. Um, and a lot of it is self-belief. And, you know, all of those horrible mindset trips trip-ups are the things that stop so many business owners. So I know that a lot of this comes down to the old mindset and mind monkeys. Um, but these kind of seven things that you can look at can really kind of help pull those things out. Um, Lucy, having loads of client work I should be doing, but love the distraction. I'm sorry. Do your client work, love. You can watch this later. There'll be a replay. And you're in the group. You can see it in the group or in here. But I mean, if you want to stay, stay. It's nice to have you. Uh, and you know about all these things. You know all about uniqueness. Because um, you do that in your agency land. Um, all right, so I'm going to go through these things. So the first thing, this is an easy one. What are your qualifications? What are the things that you did that you can apply to your business? Um, now, for some people, you know, they might think, oh, no, I've just got the kind of usual GCSEs or A-levels or wherever you are in the world, whatever qualifications you have. But whatever that was, whatever you study, whatever you spent your time doing and learning, how can you apply that to your business? So for me, and I'll give you an example of each of these for me so you can kind of see how it works. So for me... I um, I had, like going back to school days, I had an absolute love for English. And I used to love writing. Um, wasn't particularly good at it, it's not my talent, but I really loved writing and I loved reading. And that really plays out now, particularly in terms of creating content. Um, so I can kind of dip into that and talk about my love of writing uh, and my love of reading since I was a child. And I can bring that story out um, and start talking about that. I can also talk about my psychology degree which really does apply to what I do because, you know, everything uh, in running a business is about understanding people and understanding their wants and their needs and their desires and then using that to create products and services and things that they genuinely want and then using that to create really effective marketing and content. So can you see how that really kind of makes me stand out? Not everyone has a psychology degree and it's a really great thing for me to talk about and helps me stand out against other people. 
Then number two, you can look at your life experience. So what things have you suffered in your life? What things have you been through? What things have you survived? Um, they, they can be really, really important parts of your story that kind of shows you for the kind of person that you are now. It can show things like resilience and commitment and um, not having a fear of taking risks and all of these things that can really play a role in helping us to stand out. And, you know, for me, the one that I talk about a lot is the fact that um, I was seven months pregnant and I was jobless and I was a single mum and I set this business up when that happened um, and I grew this business literally from nothing from my friend's spare bedroom where I was staying because I couldn't afford my rent or mortgage um, and I built this business from that and it's been a hugely successful business and it's five years and growing and so can you see how that story really kind of shows how I can do stuff like that, shows my resilience and shows that I can build a business from literally nothing. Um, and it's a great story to share and people really resonate with that. And because I share that, I do get an awful lot of single mums coming to me and saying, I wanna work with you because you've done it and I wanna do what you've done. So when you share those stories and you share those past experiences, you really resonate with people that have a similar background to you. So I think for, that's one of my favorites. The, the life experiences, I think they are so important. Then of course, what your work experience is. So the stuff you've done up till now, because that's also very relevant. You know, whatever that was, what you did before, what skills you used, um, how you can apply those to now, the kind of person, people that you worked with, how you can apply that to what you're doing now. So again, my example is, you know, I've worked, um, I've got really broad experience. I've worked with brands, corporates, agencies, and small business. So all of my experience of working with brands and corporates, I can take those and apply them to small business. Um, and it really works well. And I have this really broad experience, this rich experience that I can share. I've also had a business before, but my first business was over a decade ago. And I had a digital marketing agency that really, really worked well. Um, I tell people about that. So, you know, I've got two businesses that I've run. The first one I won an Entrepreneur of the Year Award for. Um, and this one has been hugely successful. Um, is making multi six figures. Um, so that experience shows people that who are small business owners that I've done it. I've done it myself. I've created this success and I have all this lovely broad um, experience that I can help them with. So that makes them trust in me a lot more. And it kind of, if you share your work experience and you get that trust element. And once you have that trust element with people, it's so much easier to connect with them and to sell with them, to sell to them and to work with them. The next one is one of my favorites. What are your quirks and your flaws? I love this. What I tend to find is people um, try to kind of put a business mask on, a business face, um, and they try to hover up, um, hide and cover up their little flaws and their quirks and their idiosyncrasies. And I love those. I love it when people kind of show the true them, the authentic them, um, and they don't try and cover anything up. And I, and I think those make people real and true and, and it makes you want to connect with them a lot more. I don't want to connect with people that are perfect, perfect versions of themselves. Um, I want to try, uh, connect with a true person. And when I work with people, I have to have that connection. I have to see that authenticity. I have to see the true person to make me want to work with them. And it really works. So think about the little idi idiosyncrasies that you have that you might cover up. Um, think about the little habits that you probably don't like, but actually they others really adore those in you and they find them really interesting. Bring all of those things out. Jenny Fennick, who I love dearly, um, captures this perfectly. She calls it flying your freak flag. Fly your freak flag. Show everyone who you are. Um, I do all the time. I used, I used to have this fear of visibility that I talk about a lot. Again, it's another thing that makes me unique because um, people come to me because they have a fear of visibility and they know that I've been through it and I can fix it anyway. Um, I had this fear of visibility and so I found it quite hard to be the true me. So when I was going through that and trying to deal with that fear of visibility and getting myself out there, I would hide things um, before I realized that actually when I did, when I was sort of on Facebook lives like this or I was doing a video, when I didn't hide it and I was a true me, people loved it. Um, so, you know, I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> all the time and and I kind of I go off on tangents when I do lives and and they can go on for ages but people love that stuff and and they, they love all your little idiosyncrasies and the things that make you truly you and I think those make you really unique so really fly your flag just be the absolute 
through you and don't worry about that. People really worry about that. Um, number five, what do you really care about? And I think this is important. So for whatever industry you're in, whatever you're doing in your business, being able to pull out the stuff that you really, really care about and talk about that really helps you to put your flag in the sand and go, here, this is me, this is my opinion, and I'm standing by this. And that really helps when you're building expert status, right? When you want to become a leader in a certain area, you want to be a thought leader, you want to have an opinion on something, you want to join a, join the conversation that's going on about a certain topic, and you want people to listen to your opinion because you think it's important. You know, these are the things that make your, really make your blood boil. These are the things that get your heart racing when you see it happening, um, and you just want to kind of jump on your soapbox and go, no, 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 it's a, it's a, it needs to be another way, or whatever you're trying to say. Um, and you want to scream that opinion out to the world. Um, and for me, you know, and I talk about this a lot because this is my thing, I really believe in doing business with integrity. And it makes my blood boil when I see um, all the coaches and people online um, selling fake stuff, telling people how easy it is to make six figures um, and just not giving the truth about running a business and not teaching people the right way to build and grow a business. And that makes my blood boil. So that's why I always talk about integrity. That's why it's on my website, like doing business with integrity, doing it in the right way, having the right foundation, not lying to people. All of that stuff is what I really, really believe in. And that's what I do and what I talk about and what I teach. And I'm known for that. And, and once you kind of start really sharing those things, people know you for that thing and they like you for that thing and that brings the people to you that are also really really care about that thing as well so it's a great thing to kind of make you stand out number six what value do you provide so really be clear on your value and some people kind of get a little bit oh i don't want to own it and i'm scared to to say how good i am but you've got to bloody own it right if you if you're giving value in whatever you're doing in your business whatever that value is then use that and talk about it you know whether it's client work and you truly transform lives um, own that talk about that value if it's products what value does your product give people how does it make them feel I know some people struggle with this that are um, selling sort of product that you might just buy for the home or whatever else and they're like well there's no value there. Well, there is. There's an emotional value. There's an emotional attachment. How do these things make you feel? Be really, really clear on the value that your thing gives um, and share that with people. Uh, so for me, you know, I love to share the, the transformation that I give to small business owners because it's something that I really care about. You know, even though I still work with brands and corporates and I really enjoy that work, my heart lies in um, specifically helping women because of my past, obviously to bring their business dreams to life. And so I talk about the transformation and it's not just money, you know, the transformation for me and the thing that really makes me happy is seeing the transformation in their confidence and in their lives and believing in themselves and then building their business and making money and that money giving them the freedom they need to do other stuff that they really want to do. That value is what I talk about and that transformation is really important to me. So that's what I talk about when I'm trying to put my uniqueness out there and talking about what I do that's different and I talk about my ways of, of giving that value. Um, so be really clear about that value you provide and then shout about it, like shout about it. Number seven, the final one, um, what processes and frameworks do you have? Now these can be really valuable. We all have our own way of working, right? Our own way of doing things, but more often than not, people don't actually name them or make them into an actual process. Uh, or a framework and once you do that it's that's like your IP that's something that you can protect and that's something that you can talk about it becomes an actual topic and a talking point that that showcases what you do and kind of proves that you're good at what you do so if you create your own processes or systems then actually name them and talk about them and promote them because they can really help you stand out and then I have you know one of mine is my I have many of these. I love I'm, I love creating systems and processes. I've got a new one coming out. I'm going to share it with you 
in the new year. It's my new smart marketing system. It's amazing. I'm just trialing it at the moment with my masterminders. Um, a really, really simple um, smart marketing system that completely gets rid of overwhelm. Anyway, that's not what I was here to talk about. Um, my one that I talk about the most is my 10 step business strategy framework that I use on all my clients and, and I use this on my business. I've been using this for 10 years. This is something I had in my first business and I've kind of tweaked and perfected over the years. But I talk about that a lot and people understand that. You know, when I say I actually have a framework to create a business strategy, people understand that and they connect with that and it makes sense to them. If I just said to them, oh, I can help you create a business strategy, they're like, it's not as clear. It's not, it's not as powerful. So think about the frameworks and the processes and systems you use to do you, your thing and name them and talk about them. And like once you go through all of these things, and what I will do actually is I will copy and paste these if I can edit the description so that you've got the actual seven. If you want to come back and have a look at the seven again. Um, but dig into them. Find something in each one uh, that makes you unique. And then once you've done that, spread that everywhere. Like that should be in all of your copy. That should be on your website. That should um, play a role in any blog post that you're talking about because you want to become synonymous with those things. Now, all of those seven things you want to talk about all of the time because those are the things that make you stand out. And once you say it enough, you do become synonymous. People make that connection um, with all of those things with you and it helps to raise you up and make you stand out. So you can't, now I've shared this with you, there is no excuse for not having a USP. Like everyone can create a USP out of all of these things to help you stand out. Um, right, my lovelies, I've got some comments here. I've seen you, but I kind of didn't want to break my flow. Uh, Sandra, hello, my love. Yay to integrity. There indeed is so much fake stuff on Facebook. This is certainly something I will voice in if anyone. Yeah, so much fake stuff. And yay to integrity, doing business with integrity. And just being a person of integrity is so important. Uh, Marie Yates, happy hat day. I didn't really, you missed this at the beginning, Marie. I didn't quite appreciate until I got on the live that I looked like a bank robber. <laughs> oh, fool. Uh, hilarious. I'm not one. I'm just really cold. It's freezing in the UK today. Absolutely freezing. I'm even considering lighting a fire in my office. Have a fire over there. I might light a fire. That'd be nice. Um, anyway, I'm blathering on one of my um, flaws. I ravel on about nothing. Um, I hope that was useful. And if you watch it on the replay, then give me any comments or ask me any questions. And if you come up with any amazing, unique insight, um, then do share it here.